UTEST is a leading global player in the construction materials test equipment sector, providing equipment and services in all areas. UTEST UTC 0520 J-Ring test set is used for determining the passing ability, the slump flow, and the flow time at 500 mm flow speed of self-compacting concrete as the concrete flows through the J-Ring apparatus. Also, slump flow and flow time values without using the J-Ring can be obtained. Required equipment for this test are J-Ring with narrow gap, base plate, slump cone with filling funnel, and steel color weight. J-Ring and base plate is manufactured from stainless steel. The slump cone is made from sheet steel protected against corrosion. Testing procedure in ASTM standard is almost same with the procedure will be described here. For the differences, check the related standard. Place the base plate on a vibration-free ground. Dump on the base plate, J-Ring and the slump cone with a wet cloth or a sponge. Place the slump cone on the inner circular guide and place steel color weight. Put the J-Ring around the slump cone co-centrally. Fill the cone with sample, strike off an excess material and clean the base plate before the operation. After filling the cone, test should be initiated within 13 seconds. Rise the cone vertically by using the handles in 1 to 3 seconds and start the chronometer just after the cone is lifted. Stop the chronometer when the sample reaches to the 500 mm circle mark. Chronometer reading at this moment is recorded as T500J value. After concrete flow stops, take two perpendicular diameter measurements of the concrete as D1 and D2. SFJ value is simply the average of these two diameter readings. Place a stride rod on top of the J-ring for the accurate height measurements. Take two readings as delta HX1 and delta HX2 from the outer sides of the J-ring in the same line. From a second perpendicular line, take two more readings as delta HY1 and delta HY2. Take delta H0 reading from the highest point in the middle of the J-ring. Calculate the passing ability value according to the formula. In order to obtain T500 and SF values without any obstacles on the concrete path, assemble the same setup as previously described except for the J-ring. Stop the chronometer when the sample reaches to the 500 circle mark. Chronometer reading at this moment is recorded as T500 value. After concrete flow stops, take two perpendicular diameter measurements of the concrete as D1 and D2. SF values is simply the average of these two diameter readings. 